Now we're here in Colorado, end of second rifle season, here with my cousins Calvis and Wooldis. And uh, Wooldis just got his second wool. Second, second wool. And uh, made a good shot, about 200 yards right be behind the shoulder. Uh, he went maybe 40 yards and uh, dropped him. So we're going to show you how to do the uh, gutless field dressing method and uh, basically just skin them out, peel them out, take off four quarters, two back straps, and then uh, pop out the tenderloins, pop out the fish. Hold them over on his side and um, we're both using the Havilon Peranta knife. Uh, love this thing. Definitely cut some time off of my uh, skinning and quartering duties. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, basically one side and uh, we're both going to make a cut around the uh, joint here. Then we're going to come on the inside and then go right up the middle all the way up to uh, the chin basically. And um, we are not going to do any caping today. Um, we might take the hide out, uh, but uh, basically we're just taking the four quarters out. So we're not worried about any caping today. Um, so we're basically just going to try to peel off half of it to his backbone and then uh, we'll take off the uh, two quarters. So in Colorado we have to keep the uh, proof of sex. So I like to usually keep uh, one testicle on each ham. So I usually take the uh, member here and basically peel it back. And once we get to the testicles, we'll split them. Leave one on each side and just continue on down here. Continuing all the way down to the anus. And once I can't reach that any farther, I make one quick cut. Oops. Edit. <laughs> Edit that. We're just trying to get all the way down to the spine here and probably I like to go just past the spine a little bit that way I know it I've got plenty of room to take off the back strap here So we're going to take off the first uh, ham here, the rear quarter, and um, I always like to stretch out my hide real nice. In the snow it's not as important because it's pretty clean, but uh, if we're in the leaves and the dirt, this way as that quarter folds off, we keep it nice and clean. I basically come to the inside here and just follow the natural lines here. And right in the middle, I'm looking to uh, find that pelvic ridge. And now remember, we haven't gutted, so the guts are right here. And once I find this bone here, That's my pelvic ridge here. You can actually see I messed up and 
I didn't keep that testicle on. Luckily, I still have it here on the other quarter. But uh, here's that bone. So now I can follow this bone again all the way down towards the anus here. And here I'm going to look for my ball joint, the hip socket, which I found here. And once I've popped that tendon in that socket there, everything else should start to fall away. I'm always trying to stay nice and tight to this bone. Um, the biggest place I see a lot of meat lost on these animals is the big chunk of meat that stays attached to the uh, pelvic bone here. So once I'm through this hip socket, I really try to stay and stay with the curve of the bone. And up here above the hip socket, I can usually put my fingers in here and feel that bone that continues out up towards the spine. And once I can feel that, I'll run my knife blade just on my side of it and continue all the way up. So you wanna come over on this side. And again, so you can see here, hip socket. We came in here from the crest, and now that bone's going down away from us. So we're really trying to stay right against that bone nice and tight. So there we go, we've taken off the rear quarter. You can see we didn't leave too much here for the coyotes. Uh, they'll have plenty to pick at everywhere else, but you can see the quarter laid down on the inside of the hide here. So we've kept it nice and clean and uh, it's ready for the game bag. It's gotta be like 15 degrees this morning. So this is, we're trying to keep our hands warm touching this bugger, but we can see we've peeled them all the way back. We're gonna take off the shoulder here I'm going to start with the brisket and the shot here came through the shoulder so we're going to have to trim some meat off here but I basically come right in right to the ribs here you can feel them and then basically just come up towards the uh, back strap and uh, once I start to hear that sound there I quit cutting in so I don't catch my back strap in here. And then right across the top of the spine. And we're off.